Are you guys tired of vacuuming your house yourself? Then this video is for you. What's going on guys? My name is Chris. I'm back with you with another unboxing and review video. Today's video is going to be for the Zuzi Z50 robotic vacuum. This thing has a bunch of sweet features. Let's get right into the video. It has a long battery life and we will get you the specific milliamps for that battery. Ultra strong suction power, more efficient gyro navigation, two-in-one mopping and vacuuming function with many more sweet features that we will discuss, not to mention the associated app where you download and you can do all the functions over that as well. Just like all my unboxing and review videos guys in the description box right below the video I will have the exact robotic vacuum link where you guys can read more about it pick one up yourself after the video is done. Without further ado let's get this out of the box see what we got. All right my friends the time has come let's get this thing out of here and take it through all the test drives. Okay right on the top we have our let's make cleaning much easier again that's going to be your quick start guide telling you to fully charge it before you do use it for the first time to remove the little bumper stop how to set up your charger the app you're going to need is going to be the tuya app i believe you pronounce it t-u-y-a it's right there with the google play store or the apple store definitely read through your instruction manual there and of course the warranty card obviously the instructions will give you all of the information regarding all the features and coming to our charger plug over here a second filter right there remote control right here and no boundary bumper stops here what this is is you wrap this with your 3m tape around any areas where you don't want it to go and that will be a marked off boundary marker so it does not go in that area you have your clean brush right here your batteries for your remote control there pulling the vacuum up we're going to get to that in just a second you have a total of four so two extras it only needs two of these at a time you have a total of four and those snap on underneath as well left and right and then you have your docking station here charging prongs go on this to charge your battery that has pads on the bottom so it doesn't move and of course you will need to peel away the plastic on the areas where it says to next up we have some other items in this side compartment here we're going to get to real quick and this is going to be of course our vacuum container our dustbin container i should say with our mopping feature they give you an extra pad as well and one right on top right here it is velcro you go ahead and pull that off you have your wheel here you have your handle here that pulls out and that's going to be your filter area here and your area for water here for your mopping feature this is going to be your dustbin with another filter here as well that again is just for dust you switch this one out for the water one and that slides right into here with the velcro put on the new one while you're washing this one you do have these small little bumper things here protecting the bumpers go ahead and remove those as well and your brushes have a very slight l there for left r for right and of course right on right and it just snaps into place with both of them just like that there. Of course, remove all of your plastic protection tape. So on the bottom here, we have our roll brush here. We have our wheels here. We have our pivoting wheel here, our brushes here, our charging prongs here. Battery should be underneath here. You have your sensor here, up top here and here. And I believe those are gonna be the drop anti dropping sensor so it doesn't drop off your stairs. You have your front sensor here, which has of course your bumper stop which it bumps into some furniture and then turns around or rotates around it. And you also have a sensor here. Could be an LED light, not exactly sure yet. And your speaker right here. On and off button here and home button here with a nice logo. As we can see there, great coloring on that nice gloss finish there. All right, let's go ahead and charge this guy up and we'll take it through the test runs. All right, folks, we are charged up. We are ready to go. So let's just go ahead and do the simple tasks. Let's go ahead and hit the button and it's gonna go ahead and back on out. And it's gonna go ahead and just do its, uh, you know, robotic clean. Start. Nothing, uh, you know, we haven't done any like specifics or anything like that. We're just letting it kind of do its uh, self guiding or just one push button and kind of let it do its thing just like you would a normal house with a normal vacuum i brought this cord up off the floor you know it's not going to get tangled in anything like this as you can see it's going from hard wood onto carpet bumping into the box and moving around the boxes and this is kind of my product review area where i move and then it automatically starts sucking up a little bit more very cool okay great so as it sensed, it's on a oriental rug here, 
it actually started sucking up more with a higher power of suction. And then once it went back to the hardwood floor, it actually went back to lower. And so right now it's just kind of getting the angles down a little bit. So we're gonna download the app now, right after I end this little clip, but it'll go ahead and move. Now with that said, okay, so I have my charging dock here. You want some space, you want enough space so that it can sense and get back in there. If it's too tight, it won't be able to get back in there properly. So understand that as well. Also understand if you do have some bath mats like this that are really light, that might affect it as well. Going over it, you can test it first to see what happens if you have, you know, toilet mats here. I just picked up a few things off the ground. Some of the harder items, the boxes, no worries, like that little blanket on the couch, just pushes straight through it. And again, it's very gentle on the boxes and it would be the same thing. Sorry, this is my kind of my YouTube room and uh, this is a television. I'm not worried about it bumping hard into that or anything like that. Let's actually see what transpires. Okay, it's not gonna go over there quite yet. We'll be back with you. Right now, it seems to be going in the pattern like this, probably working its way around those boxes and then going that way is my guess as it see it's moving in a line here. Let's just watch this for a split second. Light nudge, not even really, barely a nudge right into that television. <laughs> and then now going that way. I like it. All right, here it's doing a pretty good job. And if you don't want it to do this, you can use your boundary markers, but it's actually going up on the little ledge working its way around the fireplace stone area here. And you will have, you know, obviously it's a, it's a vacuum. You will have like little frillies and stuff like that that you might have to just scoop back into place. But it's done a nice job going from the door up on the thing here. As you can see, working its way behind the curtains, which I like as well, because it gets really nasty around that door ledge right there. And so I love those brushes. The brushes are actually sweeping on both sides and it's bringing it into the contraption, into the dustbin, I should say, not the contraption. <laughs> and so if it, for some reason, goes around the curtains, like it seems like it's doing, you could go ahead and maybe lift them up like this and put them, you know, over the little things like this there. That way it won't go around them because they are dropping down to about the sensor area there. See here, it's picking up auto and it's beefed up and then coming back around here. So I've been working over here on the computer, just letting it run. And then it kind of rotates a little bit, gets off. You'll see this just here in a second and then it turns back on again. This thing's intelligent. Hey, what's up, dude? All right, looking good, guys. Here I am just working away, doing a little edit on the old computer here. And as we can see here, it's just rocking and rolling, go right around the edges, those brushes. Look at that brush. It gets right in that crack right there. As it goes up above from hardwood to my wood, right underneath my chair, bumping into my chair. It actually got right around here as well. As you can see me in the reflection as it's working around my office chair. That's awesome because it's super dusty in these corners over here. So this thing's been going for probably, I want to say 25 minutes, probably upwards of a half an hour. Just doing a great job. Hasn't got stuck one time, not one time. It has been doing an excellent job. And what's so awesome about this is I can multitask. I have my house vacuumed while I'm working so I don't have to manually do it. I like it. All right, uh, I lost track of time, but that was a long time. And the woman's voice, the robotic voice said, charging, cleaning complete, heading back to the charging station. Now the LED lights are lit up red here. And this might take a while, but it has enough juice and it knows it has enough juice to get back over to the charging station. Again, this might circle around. It might do some weird things that will eventually get there. So we're gonna save you some time of just watching it kind of fiddle around and we'll be back with you and give you a guesstimation of how long it took to get back to the charging dock. Well, upwards of a minute after I last left you, it is looking real good. So we're gonna check it on out. See what we can see here. And it should just go right up on the prong and prongs here. Let's go ahead and see what she can do. All right. Recharging. And recharging. That is pretty cool. So as you see here, it is now beeping, uh, kind of glowing there. And we are 
ready to roll, charging up. I like what I'm seeing. Now, just out of curiosity, let's go ahead and see. We have to be. Dustbin removed. Dustbin removed. Please check and restart. So, I'm assuming that this thing is just absolutely nasty. Please check and Hey, thank you for letting me know the dustbin is removed. Okay, so let's go over the trash can and dump this out. That's awesome. Look at all that dust. That is a huge clump. And then what you'll probably want to do is after you dump that, make sure you get this portion off as well. I'm even seeing a little spider in there too. <laughs> That's awesome. It was able to pick all that up. Goodness. I'm very impressed. It charged up super fast. So now we are gonna go another round. I really like this in my kitchen because that gets crumbs underneath there and it's going right around the edges of my kitchen and the brushes are trying to get in there as far as they can. If you have a big lip, the brushes not, might not fully reach under there. Obviously they are going a few inches off of each side. So that should get in there nice and tight as it is now cleaning the kitchen floor. So it got a little quiet and I was like, why is it getting a little bit quieter? But this is awesome. It's literally gone underneath the couch and has now come back out. And I would never be able to get a regular vacuum cleaner under there. But with the low profile design, it's going right underneath there. And it literally poked its head back out and I just ran to go get the camera again. Let's see if it kind of goes back in. It just came out of there. Oh man, that's excellent. As I can see some cobwebs on the front of it, so we'll probably have to clean that off to keep the sensors nice and clean there. But it's rotating around, and it'll go ahead and work its way out of there. Let me go ahead and stand. There it goes. Let me stand back so it doesn't get confused, thinking that I'm a wall blocker right there. All right, about 30 seconds later, after I cut that last shot, it has worked its way out from underneath the side table there. And then it will probably rotate and do the same thing as it comes back out the gap here, as we can see. Now, once again, on your area carpet rugs, it's not getting stuck, but you're just going to have to go ahead and mat it back down with your fingers. No worries. I really like how it's going from one section to the other without getting caught and going ahead and just goes right above these room dividers here. Tile to laminate to hardwood floor in there to, I believe, laminate or vinyl here. It's doing a great job and it has not gotten stuck once one time. I'm very impressed with it. All right, here we are. It is underneath there <laughs> right now, right there. So awesome. Cleaning everything. And then it just pushes this thing out of the way and comes right back out. So unfortunately, I can't show you the example because I don't have stairs. So let's say that this was your staircase right here. The drop sensors would roll over the top of it. So just a hair would be over the edge. It would sense that there's nothing below, and instead of going straight across, it would then turn around and work its way back. Robotic vacuums are very highly intelligent when it comes to not falling off of stairs. But like I said, unfortunately, I don't have an example for you. But what's nice is that even though this room divider is a little bit thick here. It's definitely crawling over that, which is awesome. Knowing that it's not gonna fall off, knowing that that is another floor and cruises right around it. And if you are wondering, it came right back out underneath the couch, perfectly fine. And now it's working its way back out of the room on to the next one. So something I didn't show you in the video is this little trap opens up, easily removes the brush here if anything is caught, hair, pet hair, etc. Now something that you do have to keep in mind is sometimes, especially with under the couch, who knows what the last time is that that was cleaned. It's just nasty dust. So just remove that for some oddball reason. But as you can see here, it's looking pretty good underneath here. Here's your charging prongs right there. Of course, your sensors. This thing has to be filled. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this 
this out. This is a little nasty, but that is round two. And if you look right there, not the apples, if you look right there, those are shards of glass. This thing picked up shards of glass. I have no idea where those were. <laughs> Goodness gracious, and those are pretty big shards of glass. So this has done a great job, and wowzers. I mean, very impressive. Click that bad dustbin in position putting that bad johnny back on let's go ahead and latch that down now now we need to go ahead and just briefly look at mopping folks it is now time to install the wet mop here so it actually shows you directions right on top you actually need to remove the dustbin portion here fill it up right right underneath this flap here remove the other just dustbin your lights will blink but don't worry about that and we'll insert this and obviously the mop is on the bottom I just don't want to turn that over. It should be fine, but um, the microfiber cloth is right there and actually turned over upside down. Doesn't leak, which is nice. Waterproof little gasket right there. Let's go ahead and insert this now. Right as I pushed it in, uh, it actually said water tank in position. Let's now go ahead and hit this button right up here. Mopping mode. Mopping mode. All right, so let's see here. Is there any, no, nope, no water yet. So we'll go ahead and watch it and figure out what happens here in mopping mode. My guess is it's gonna probably slowly start releasing it into the microfiber cloth and I might have to get out of the kitchen when it starts to get moist. I don't see anything quite yet. Be back with you. All right, it was actually very faint, but I think it's starting to uh, seep through the microfiber cloth. So we're gonna uh, check in with you here and uh, we're gonna see how, yeah, okay. So there I can feel moisture. It's not like really 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 wet but uh let's see if that um starts to get a little bit wetter it's just it's very subtle it's almost like a fine mist uh that might be good yeah it's almost like just a fine mist not much at all i don't even know if the camera's being able to pick that up yeah just i mean a very very fine mist so maybe that's just a beautiful way of doing it without uh slipping but just make sure obviously that you are careful when you are walking in your kitchen it's definitely a finer mist than like even a swiffer but uh, nice and subtle i definitely can feel moisture so we're gonna go ahead and let that work and i'll check in with you see if it gets a little bit more thicker with moisture but what i really love about this it has the dustbin as as well so it's vacuuming and mopping at the same time and underneath my refrigerator which is filthy dirty and this eliminates the need for a Swiffer I want to say that it eliminates the need for a Swiffer and it's natural good for babies pets because it's just water if you need to do a deep clean then put a little elbow grease into it here but this is all natural water cleaning I like it because I have a puppy coming on the way. All right, guys, let's look at the app because this is where it gets nice and juicy here. So we see the battery percentage level right in the middle, cleaning area in meters squared, time. And this is the first time I've actually logged into the app. So if it's not connected over the app, it won't understand your parameters and time that you've already cleaned. This just adds a lot of extra features, but after already testing it without being logged in, it works great as well if you don't feel like going this extra step, but there's some sweet features we're gonna get into. So right here, settings down left, this is where it gets really cool. So fan low, mid or high. And that's the sucking capability, the suction capability that you will want to go ahead and mess around with, what works for you and your house and what it picks up. I had it on low the whole entire time. We picked up shards of glass, plenty of dust. Depends how noisy you want the vacuum to go and how long you want it to last as well. Next is gonna be the water control. So we already looked at the water control, the fine mist, and that was low. I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with it and step out of the kitchen with it on mid and high and see what that does. Again, mess around with it for you and how you want your robot vacuum to work for you. But that's awesome, they have different control capabilities. We have deep cleaning. We can go ahead and toggle that on or off. And silent mode, you can toggle that on or off. You can also so seek the robot. Let's go ahead and see and see if it can uh, pick up the volume while I'm doing this. I'm here. That's cool. If you heard that, the robotic vacuum said, I am here. That's really awesome. Uh, cleaning record would be right here. No record because I just logged into the app. And schedule, you can add a schedule so that it cleans on certain times and days, etc. Let's go ahead and take a look at that a little bit more thoroughly. Repeat once, you can do it all the different days or a certain day. 
You can add notes, notifications, switch on or off times. That's really cool. So definitely go into the app and make it work for you, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and scroll back over here. You can do manual mode down here at the bottom, random mode, recharge, spot cleaning, wall, follow, auto cleaning, pause cleaning and switch. Obviously the remote control that it did come with as well has some sweet features to it and buttons. You can push those. You can turn it on or off. And I renamed it Robot in the top of your screen there. All right, let's take a look at Medium. Medium is definitely putting out a little bit more moisture on the ground. Yep, as we can see there. If we can see some beads there, and then it would probably need to run over that once again but that is putting out more water out of that medium. I'll let you guys play around with high. Depends how deep you wanna clean your floors. All right, I flipped it over to see what it looks like after the mopping in my kitchen here. And as you can see the microfiber cloth, it looks like it is definitely nice and dirty there, being able to pick up some nastiness. That is damp to the touch. So you do wanna be careful, don't let it go into your carpeted areas because then it's gonna drag water and dirt on your carpet, so just be careful of that. Go ahead and zone that off with the black borders. So as you can see here, this is a little bit dirty here. You could just go ahead and do what I just did. Or if you're going to be throwing it in the wash, just go ahead and maybe mop up your areas there. You are mopping with water, so just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and look at what the dustbin looks like. And I got about half my water left in there as we can see. And then coming around to the dustbin, we were able to collect some nice long shards. What is that? Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. That was on the low setting as well. That is a computer screw for my computer. Wow, that actually does a great job at sucking even on the low setting. My goodness, that's awesome. I gotta get that thing out of there. Overall, I am very impressed with the vacuum. I thought it did a fantastic job, not to mention the app has some really cool features in it as well. Guys, in the description box right below the video is gonna be the link for this exact same robotic vacuum. You guys can read more about it, pick one up yourself. You guys in the UK, you as well. But just like all my unboxing and review videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. And if you wouldn't mind, thumbs that video up on your way out. It helps the channel. Thank you guys so much. Your links are below. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.